Prime Minister wants to overhaul the visa system to address labour shortages, attract talent and improve economic growth. Several cabinet ministers, though, including Suella Braverman, the actual Home Secretary, and Jacob Rees-Mogg, the Business Secretary, are said to have significant concerns. And in fact, I suspect a lot of you at home do as well. Well, to discuss the Prime Minister's plans, I'm joined now by Robert Law, who manages 6,000 acres of arable sheep and beef farm in Hertfordshire, which is interesting, actually, because I'm looking at a model farm here from the NFU at Labour Party conference, so very on brand, and Alp Mehmet from Migration Watch as well. Good, good to see you, Alp. Uh, right, I will start with you, you, Alp, if that's all right. Alp Mehmet, Alp Mehmet from Migration Watch. So just to recap for people, Liz Truss, a Conservative, I think people maybe in assume would take a stronger stance on the rampant mass migration we've got, might actually want more immigration. Is this true? Can we even be any softer, Alp? No. Uh, well, it seems that we can be. That's what uh, Liz Truss is, is proposing. But the fact is that we're already really considerably looser than we were at the beginning of 2021, when the so-called points-based system, Australian-style points-based system, that was going to solve all our problems, all our immigration woes were going to go. Well, what actually happened was that they loosened it to such an extent that uh, a year to uh, June this year, there were actually 1.1 million visas granted for uh, people to come here and live. That's how loose it is. Well, Liz Truss is now proposing that it should be made even looser, and she's doing what Labour did in the early 2000s when Peter Mandelson, Lord Mandelson, said, we have to search out, send out search parties, he said, looking for foreign, my, for foreign workers. Well, this is what seems to be happening. I think it's, it's totally absurd. And it's the last thing that I would have expected a, a Conservative government to be doing. Well, it's absolutely astonishing and bad timing as well, given the fact that I'm here at Labour Party conference. It's a bit of an open goal for Labour. You mentioned Peter Mandelson Alp. I saw him earlier on, actually. He was walking around, which makes change, because I did always think that he slept upside down in a cocoon. But there we go. I'm going to go over now to Robert Law, who manages 6,000 acres of arable sheep and beef in Hertfordshire. Thank you very much. So, have you got a problem employing people then? Do we need to import foreign people or why can't we just get people from, oh, I don't know, Liverpool, where I am now, to come and pick your fields? Well, look, you heard last week that um, uh, unemployment is at its lowest level since the 1970s. Now, that's rather unusual considering we're in such a time of economic gloom and all the problems we've got. But uh, certainly in our industry and other industries I hear um, about, we are struggling to find labour. We're struggling to find um, seasonal helpers. A lot of um, people I know who grow fruit, who grow vegetables, they are not planting them at the moment because they don't know who's going to harvest them. We've got um, a chance that, just, to be... Just quickly, sorry, just, just quickly, is that, and I, I, I can appreciate your answer to this, but I've got to ask it anyway, is that because you're not paying them enough? It, it doesn't... Paying them doesn't seem to be an issue. People, people don't seem to want to do the work here. We had the great um, pick for Britain thing which happened in COVID, and uh, it didn't attract anyone at all. I mean, we are, I'd certainly say at the moment, in 50 years of farming, uh, we're having the greatest labour shortages we've ever had. And it's right through our industry, right through to the supply industry, getting people to process the vegetables, people working in slaughterhouses. There's not the staff there. And all we're doing at the moment is um, exporting our production at the moment. OK, Alp, uh, Alp Mehmet here from Migration Watch, bring you back in. I've got some shocking figures here, Alp. Our population's gone up by something like 11 million in the last 30 years, which is absolutely staggering. We've got, you know, channel migrants cr costing us about £1.3 billion a year. I'm just reading some of this now. Net migration at around 240,000 a year. Illegal immigration, by definition, presumably impossible to quantify because we don't know all of the extent of it. More than... 
a million. It's unbelievable. I mean, if our, we now have a prime minister who actually wants to increase legal migration as well, I mean, we're, 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 we're in big trouble, aren't we? Well, um, we are in big trouble. Uh, what, what I would say to uh, uh, Robert is, first of all, I, I have no problem with a scheme for bringing in people for a short time to do whatever's necessary seasonally and then leave. When I was an immigration officer 50 years ago, that's exactly what used to happen. We've got, you've got 40,000 who are now coming and came this year. And I, I gather this is going to uh, increase, I don't know by how much, and they're going to be allowed to stay longer. So I don't think there's, there's a huge problem there. Work shortages, shortages in, in, in work around Europe, frankly, HGV drivers, we're not alone in having a, a need for more HGV drivers. Pay them enough, pay them more, and you will have as many as you need. Can't we fix this? Haven't we actually got the solution staring at us right in the face here now? We've got Robert Law, who has got 6,000 acres of arable sheep and, and beef that need looking after and knows a load of people who unfortunately can't get the workers. We've got Alp Mehmet from Migration Watch who completely, who, you know, talks a lot about people coming over here illegally and people coming over here illegally in dinghies. Can't we get the people who come over here illegally in dinghies in the channels to go and pick your fields, Rob? Well, that, I, I certainly agree with what's being said. The, um, the seasonal agriculture <laughs> worker scheme uh, uh, allows about 40,000 people through every year. We need about eighty to 90,000 to do it, to come and pick the fruit and uh, d do the processing. I, I'm totally in agreement about illegal Im immigration, but a properly managed scheme for people to come over, go into particular jobs for the season, but a more realistic figure at 80, 90,000 is just, you know, what we need in the short term. Rob, OK, uh, Alp, you said no, we, couldn't, we couldn't get them to do that. Talk to me. Go on. Uh, so, uh, well, uh, first of all, I, I, I do actually talk a great deal about uh, immigration other than illegal immigration, Patrick. Um, and, and the fact is that the major problem we have is the scale of immigration. You refer to population increase. Over 20 years, we had population increase of 8 million, 7 million of which was due to immigration, direct and indirect, children born to immigrants. Over the last 10 years, 3.5 million, 80% of it due to immigration. That's what is the problem. You need houses, you need schools, you need doctors, you need all sorts of people. That's where we've got to be serious about reducing immigration. And what the government is proposing now is absurd. OK, Alp, I'm, I'm being told to move on, but I'm, I'm not going to actually. Alp, just very, very quickly on this, please. A lot of people are struggling at the moment with potential demographic changes, highlighting things that are maybe taking place in Leicester and Birmingham and, dare I say, outside the Iranian embassy as well. You're going to have to keep this very quickly, otherwise I think I am going to get fired. Would a trust like Liz Truss's migration plan to have more immigrants coming over potentially shatter Britain's demographics forever? Uh it can do. I think we need to reduce immigration. The scale of immigration is what needs to come down. And what Liz Truss is proposing now is the very opposite of what's needed. That's risky, to say the least.